The first is impact loading. And impact loading, how do we define it, is really, you know, we're looking at that the peak uh, the, the peak sacral acceleration that's that's hitting the, the pelvis or the, the hips, uh, right? So how hard are you hitting the ground, basically? And yeah. not only that, but how fast is that tr that that impact shock traveling through the legs? So it's a combination of of how hard and how fast. Now, what we've what we've uncovered through working with with physiotherapists, uh, well, but in house as well as our growing community, is how these different metrics have actually created like a fork in the road in terms of clinical reasoning and what type of exercises. So if you, if you have a, a runner that's displaying really high values of impact, that's, you know, that's regardless too high for that given speed or, uh, or, or that environment they're in, we know that's got to do with a, a strength, more of a strength or a capacity deficit of the lower limb muscles uh, to yeah. absorb, to lower that impact. Um, then on the other hand, you have that impact duration, or I say like how quickly that impact is traveling through the legs, or, or kind of traveling up the kinetic chain. And that seems to be more, more related to what we call plyometric training. 